So in case you missed any of my in-class demo on how to start and work your way through the uh, hands-on Photoshop quiz, I want to show you now uh, what you're going to do. So right here within modules, what you're going to do is you're going to access the hands-on quiz here. So the basic idea is this. You're going to need to go through, it's right here, you're going to need to go through and I've got the basic overview of the high level steps and then details for each piece. What you're going to have is this. Let me open up. Actually, I'll show you the picture here in a moment. So let me actually open this. You are going to be creating this goofy little collage. This goofy collage here is a series of photo filters, but primarily it's a lot of masking. So you've got a total of one, two, three, four, and then this fifth image that becomes your background. Uh, the videos that I have will walk you through not how to do it, but uh, the order that I think you should do things in and then what areas to really pay attention to that I'm going to look for in the details. So I'm going to provide you the layers so you can see what the layers are. I'm going to provide you with all of the photos that you need for the document. And then I'm going to give you a list of instructions that are written that tell you kind of the sequence that I would recommend doing it. So let's start with this first one. So the first thing is I'd recommend make a new folder in your Google Drive. Call it something like hands-on or Photoshop hands-on or something like that. So you'll be able to save stuff into that folder. The next thing is you're going to open up the pictures that are in here. You're going to copy all of those pictures into that new folder that you created in your my drive those are all the pictures that you'll need and i also have a larger version of what the layers look like as well as what the settings are for the layers the next so after you've done that you've essentially you've made your google drive and you've copied the files into that google drive now, since we have had online issues with internet and things like that, I cannot emphasize enough, save constantly. Now, this video here, watch this video. This video will get you started. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to, I would recommend open up the file and mask it. Now, I want to... So I'm opening up each individual file and masking, and I'm walking you through not how to do it, but the order and the sequence that I would do things. And I'm actually showing you what my masks look like. Then when you get to this point of the video, let me see, it's getting glitchy. I have you create a blank document called hands on, and you're going to move the moon or the Mars scape into here. And that's getting to the setup. After you've finished with those, you've masked your five images and you've saved them as PSD files in your hands-on folder, then you're going to open this set of instructions. Now, what I've done with this set of instructions is I'm not giving you tons of details, but definitely read them carefully. I'm going to change this to 200% so I can see more of it. So over here, I've put this image here repeatedly on each of the pages so that you have that as a reference to kind of see, do you have the size about right? Is it in the right location? So now that you've masked all of those images, you're going to move, you're going to transform it to fill that background and then save it. Then here on the balloon, you're going to pull the balloon in. You're going to transform it to about 40% of the original size. And then you're going to move it where it needs to go. Same with the banana. Same thing with the rock. This one is telling you to flip horizontal. If you don't know how to do that, do a search in uh, Photoshop or do a search on Google. Transform image, hor uh, flip horizontally and see what to do. Then you're going to pull in the po uh, Polaroid. And then that gets you to get the point where you've got all the photos in there, but it doesn't have it where you've got the colors applied correctly. So I have a link here that will take you to that picture that you downloaded so you can actually see it and open it or download it again or let me go back here so many spots or i have it right here and you can even zoom in more if you want right now it's at 200 you could do 250 oh, i guess it doesn't let you zoom in more than that 
maybe you have a way of doing it. Uh, but the stuff is there. You're going to want to make sure that you have your layers named exactly the layers that I have. And I've got settings for every single one of these pieces. For this one, that purple, get a color that's close to that. Just don't make it like green or something else. Make it so that it's close to that purple. But don't worry if it's not exactly the same as mine. The rest of the settings, though, check your settings and make sure like this one, I need to make a correction on here. This one should have the size set to 60. So double check and make sure that every single one of those numbers is the same on yours. After you're done with that, you're going to watch this video. This video is a short, like five minute video that I have you go through and I point out and what I'm going to be looking for. Banana is going into it as far as the cleanup. So this will help to ensure that you get as many points as possible. Because that's my goal. These, but just in I really want to make sure that you get as much as possible. Uh, and then once that's all done, you'll submit the file. So that was a lot of details, but essentially it's copy, create a folder and copy all the data files to that folder. Then mask every single one of those uh, files and then watch the video to get started then follow the written instructions, watch this video for tips on how to clean up your image at the very end, and then turn it in. And you have, uh, right now I have it set so that uh, you will finish this by two o'clock uh, today. So you will be able to work outside of class on this. If you run into problems with Cameo, if you're using that, go ahead and switch to Photopea, do the best you can with it, and then let me know when you submit the file if you used PhotoP, so I can go in and uh, I'll build it in PhotoP as well and see if I see any differences that are in there. All right, deep breath, good luck. This shouldn't be too bad. You've got this. You've had a lot of practice with masking. You're gonna be fine.